I'll read a quick and get to another character. I see one before me now. His name is Joseph. He was an elected son. He was a perfect type of Jesus Christ. He was born a prophet. He's a prophet also. See? And now he could see vision. And when he's a little boy, he saw a vision of himself sitting on a throne and his brothers dying. <laughs> But what? He was kind of, he felt like he's a great guy. See? And all of them, but what did God have to do? He done the same thing that he did to the rest of them. Because Moses was a deliverer, Paul was a deliverer, and now Joseph was a deliverer. He saved his people from the famine. What did God have to do to him? Put him in prison. Have him right straight to the prison. Yes, sir? Remember, he was sold by his brother to an Egyptian, and they sold him to Pomper, and a Pomper uh, gave him a little bit of liberty, and uh, first thing you know, that was taken from him, and there he sat in the prison, crying, crying, God had to strip it. Now notice, but all the time I believe he, in that prison, he could remember that the vision said that he's going to sit on his room, <laughs> and his brothers is going to bow to him. Because he knew that his gifts come from God. And he knew that it was had to come to pass. If we could only keep that in our mind. But according to the word of God, in this last days he's going to have a church. He's going to have a people. And these things that he promised, he's going to do them. He's saying one. And we're living in the time. We're there. He's just trying to get us to be real prisoners now. Locked in with him. Oh, you hear that old song you sing, and then I'm going to shut in with God? Yeah, but I want to be shut in with God. Now, that's where I thought about this. <laughs> Being shut in with God. Nothing else. You, you only move when God says move. You only do as God says do. See? Then you're shut in with God. Now remember, he was thinking. He also became a total failure to himself. All that he knew, all that he understood, and everything, he became a total failure. It didn't work. He was put under a situation to where that nobody would listen to him. He was a prisoner. See? He was put into a situation that unbelievers would not believe. Do you see what I mean? His ministry was of no effect. The people turned their heads. They wouldn't pay no attention to him in prison. What good would his ministry do? He might stand to the prison bars and preach to him and walk on down the street. See? But he become a prisoner. God kept him a prisoner until the wheel got rolled up right. Amen. Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Total failure. Finally. God can't do it in his prison. Like Paul, like all the rest of them, he came to him and he used the gift that he had given to get him out of there. That's right. He brought him from his prison. What did he do? As soon as he brought him from his prison, he was given power by the king, his king, that he set on the side of that he was under. He was brought from the prison house and given power to whatever he said had to happen. Amen. 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 In his prison, he constantly remembered he was born for a purpose. Amen. He was going to set by a king and all the rest of us going to bow and eat to him. His vision told him so. Amen. But before his vision could be completely fulfilled, he had to become a prisoner. Amen. Yeah. And then he had to become a ruler. And when he come from his prison house and become a prisoner of the word of God, that he could only say what God put in his mouth to say, then God moved through. 